So how long did you date before getting engaged? Me and my wife, Sam, were about five and a half years. I think if I waited one more day, she would have dumped me. <laughs> Comment below as to how long you dated and we'll get to a big engagement this week in the Country Music Update. I'm Greg Reynolds. Coming up on Halloween, I got to chat with Hardy this week and wanted to know where he hid his Halloween candy when he was a kid. He had a pretty special place, but it wasn't just for Halloween candy. It evolved as he grew up. My um, my old bed frame had these two like sliding shelves at the top of it, and I would always hide it in there. And I would put put something like some books or something like stack them up and then put it behind it so like my my parents couldn't see it. Why? Because they did they take a pretty good tax off of the stuff you you brought home. Yeah, they just wanted to make sure I wasn't you know just kid stuff like you better not be eating candy at midnight you know or. You'll be up all night. Just Which, that kind of course, of you were. That's yeah, why you brought it to your room. You know, then it was then it was like dip and chewing tobacco and then like, you know, maybe a bottle of whiskey or something. <laughs> it was just the hiding place. It's like behind the yeah. Bible. It's like, don't worry about that. I just go back yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty smart, right? You always got to have one place that nobody's going to look. And shout out to Hardy, by the way. A two-week number one here in Canada with that amazing song, One Beer. He's also got a number one song, writing credit-wise, for Jameson Rogers. The song Some Girls is the first number one of Jameson's career, and this is how he celebrated after getting the news. Man, we had a, we, there was a, a space in East Nashville that we rented, and uh, it was a social, socially distanced kind of little hang with the writers and, and some of the team here in Nashville and some close friends. And so, man, we, we, set, we, we threw down pretty, pretty hard on Sunday. It was, it, was, uh, it was a good day. And how do you follow up your first ever number one? Well, he's got a fantastic new single out with none other than Luke Combs. It's called Cold Beer Calling My Name, and this is how it kind of all came to be. So I was in the studio um, a couple years ago recording this song, and at the time when I was in the studio, I, I didn't have any intentions of him being, being on it. And uh, about the same time, he asked me to go out on tour with him. I was on tour with him all year last year, and... Um, so right before that, he had asked me to go on tour, and I was like, "Man, I just cut the song Cold Beer Calling My Name," and and he had he had he had he was aware of the song. He had the demo, I think, and and used to always tell me he liked it or whatever. And so I just threw it out there. I was like, "Man, you wanna you wanna sing the second verse or second chorus of the song, and you know, be featured on my first record?" I, I honestly thought he was gonna say he couldn't or no. You know, it's it's tough to get artist approval or whatever on on songs, but he hit me back immediately. He was like, "Man, that'd be awesome. Let's do it." And speaking of Luke Combs, he's got his deluxe album out now. What you see ain't always what you get. Five new songs, including the one everybody's talking about. Going to be heard at a lot of weddings over the next 10 years. It's called Forever After All. And no, he did not unveil it to his wife, Nicole, at his own wedding. So for me, here's how I picture it. It's your wedding day. You've been waiting and waiting. COVID pushed things back. You give Nicole this song on your wedding day. Is that how this went? And you just watch her cry? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish it was that person. Uh, you know, I had I had written the song uh, when we kind of it was the first song I wrote when we moved into to our new house about a year and a half ago, and um, so you know it, it ended up being perfect. When did you first show it to her? Right then, when you first wrote it, or and what was her reaction? Yeah, I showed it to her that evening. Actually, uh, you know, I knew it was a it was a really great song, and. Um, she really, really loved that one. So she's a real good judge of that. Beautiful song, though. Incredible. And to follow up Better Together, which is the current radio single, like the guy just looks at his wife and makes hit songs. It's incredible. Speaking of marriage, though, we have engagement news. Finally, right? I told you, comment below, how long did you date before getting engaged? Blake and Gwen officially engaged. The announcement came out earlier this week with this post. And it's just about five years after they started dating. Kind of confirmed their relationship in basically Halloween, November-ish, November 1st of 2015. Now engaged. Like I said, welcome to the five-year club. I was just over five years. And instead of people saying congratulations after that, they say, finally. Now we just can't wait to see and hear about all of Blake and Gwen's wedding plans. For more of your favorite stars and what they're up to, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm Greg Reynolds with another country music update.